and today isn't going to be as windy as it was yesterday, okay. but, but the wind's still picking up, and you know, when it's in the 50s, I know it's not pretty. Yeah. But it, it, it could be so much worse. Will <laughs> we have the rain too or no? We will. I think so. This morning is kind of like yesterday morning yeah. where it was it was dry for the morning drive. But then mm -hmm. on occasion we get these kind of spotty showers. So it's not a washout. It's not a rain out of a day. But it's OK. Yeah, it's so, fall. Right, exactly. It's OK. You know, just have an umbrella with you. Take one with you uh, in case you do need it. I think late this morning and through the afternoon, there's going to be a higher chance of getting some of these showers. But the temperatures again struggling to uh, climb and, and yes, Yesterday we, we got some peaks of sun out. We got lucky in the afternoon, and as soon as we got some sunshine, the temperatures actually spiked up to 64 yesterday afternoon for the high. But a lot of clouds today. Wind still 10 to 20 miles per hour, and some gusts around 25 miles per hour. High temperature 59. Right now it's 52 in Detroit, which is about average. The average low is 51 degrees for September 27th. The average high is 71. I'm sorry, 70 degrees. And uh, high today just 59 degrees. Some showers once again developing northwest of us, moving to the southeast. So uh, at times isolated to scattered rain showers today. Otherwise, a lot of clouds and a breezy, chilly uh, day once again. Here's an update on Hurricane Ian. The rain band starting to make its way in across uh, South Florida now. It's a Category 3. It just made landfall in western Cuba. It's quickly moving to the north, though, at about 12 miles per hour. It's expected to become a Category 4 really over the next 12 hours. And this will take a turn, and it's headed right toward Tampa Bay. It still may jog to the west or slightly to the east. Now it strengthens to a category four later today and tonight, but it should weaken back down to a three, maybe a two, possibly even a one before this makes landfall, depending on where it does make landfall. This is a look at a wind forecast and the area is highlighted in red. That's hurricane wind force. That's when you're looking at definite power outages. And then you have some uh, tropical storm winds that are highlighted in yellow that field. And as tropical systems weaken, the wind field expands outward. So power outage is likely the biggest concern for the Tampa area is the storm surge. Now, if this tracks slightly to the east, even by 10, 15 miles, you're looking at a wind on the backside coming out of the Tampa Bay area from the northeast to the southwest. But if it moves to the west, then you're looking at the wind bringing all the, the water up from the southwest. But rain totals 10 to 16 inches of rain possible around the Tampa area in central Florida. Here at home, drier tomorrow, 59 degrees, still a lot of clouds. It's going to get brighter and warmer at the end of the week. 62 Thursday, 68 Friday, 70 for the high Saturday, Sunday looks good this weekend. Allie.